is a swag I'm going to go through and make these two dimensions equal with the caliper here you can see that this is way greater than this just in the gap there this has got a locking right. the holder this unfortunately this is in inches but we'll live with it this is not the okay just a couple iterations they've got these pretty close from the bar to the top of the head I go in here you can see that it's contacting this screw and not the other one because I've gone ahead and adjusted this so you put this in the center the 15 That seems like it's good enough right there. Now, if I hold this here, hold the shaft, it's got a little bit of skew, it's way, off, way better than it was. Now I'm going to go ahead and rotate this screw out just a little bit okay what I've done is I've taken left this the same went ahead and moved this out and locked it down I got 20.27 millimeters same as before this is 20.52 and that's just moving this out this is the reference ruler I put on here that touches this and I can go over here. I'm holding down the Z axis. Got this aligned up. This is the end of the 12 inch ruler, 300 millimeters. That's 30 centimeters. Got the ruler about one millimeter away, away from the wheel. And can I pull this all the way along? It's in the center. That's 15 centimeters. That's zero. So just eyeballing this along here, it looks like I've got an error of maybe about a third of a millimeter. And just looking at the width of these lines here, or less. So I've got this all lined up where the skate blade is and lined up with the uh, reference surfaces. So instead of a skate blade in here, I've got a ruler. Right now I've got no template. I've got this all lined up. 